What's up, guys? MC underscore figures here. And today we're going to be looking at the all new retro card Marvel, the amazing Spider-Man. Let's go ahead and jump right into the review. Okay, guys, let's briefly talk about the packaging real quick. We got some nice alternative hands that we've been asking for for the longest. That is a good thing. You got Spider-Man over here looking really nice in the package. You got uh, some more accessories, the webs, and some more stuff here. Got a nice picture of Spider-Man over here, a nice classic picture. You turn them around, Spider-Man, and we have some legalese over here, down here, and then we have some a little bit of literature, backstory of this particular Spider-Man. Spider-Man is looking awesome, guys. Check out this Spider-Man figure. Let's go ahead, open this guy up, and stop wasting time. All right, guys. This Spider-Man coming straight out of the packaging looks epic. The design, the paint is clean, if you can see that. Everything is good on this figure right now. The articulation seems like it's there. So it's a little bit tight coming out of the packaging, but that is okay. I like the fact that he's not overly muscular. He's nice and sleek, nice sleek physique and everything. The head sculpt looks pretty nice. I'm loving this figure. Only gripe I have with this figure, I wish he had some bendy toes. But that's okay. This figure is still epic. But we're gonna set Spider-Man to the side for one second and we're gonna get into his, look, have a closer look at his accessories. And for accessories, we have two web gripping hands that's really nice, detailed, painted really nice and clean. We have two wall crawling open hands. And also we have two whipping hands. Finally, we have two whipping hands. Something that I've been asking for for the longest. And we have some web wings over here that we're gonna plug into Spider-Man in just a moment. And we have some relaxed web wings. And finally, we have one long web line. Okay guys, let's quickly go over the articulation of this figure. His head can go back that far, really nice. Look at that. It can go down. That is nice, look at that, really nice. Can, yeah, he has a little bit of tilt going, <clears throat> not that much, not too much tilt, but that's okay. He has a butterfly joint. His arm can go up past 90 degrees. His arm can rotate all the way around. He has a bicep cut, that's good. He has the standard double jointed elbow. He has a swiveling wrist and hinge at the wrist, and that is good. He has a diaphragm cut here. and a hinge that can go back really nicely. Look at that, that is cool. Can go forward pretty decently. Just wish this top part could go forward just a little bit more, but we can work with that. And his leg can go up just about past 90 degrees. You can go back. He has double jointed knees. He has a swiveling 
chin cut here. He has pointy feet that can point back, point forward, and a ankle pivot feature here. And that always comes handy with the dynamic poses. And let's not forget that this particular Spider-Man can do the splits pretty well as far as articulation. All right, guys, we have one of his collapsed web wings in, plugged in. They plug right into his, um, up under his arm on his tricep muscle. So we're gonna plug that in and see how that looks. Plug it in real good, make sure it's in there nice and tight. And there you go. Now we're gonna go ahead and put in his extended web wings. And here, as you can see, we have the extended web wings of this uh, Spider-Man figure. But personally, I won't be posing him around like this because it's a pain and it's a pain in the butt to try to get these plugged in. It took me about five minutes to get these figured out and plugged in. So I will be leaving these out. But from certain angles, it, it looks pretty good. Okay, let's do a few poses with this figure. This is one pose. Looks pretty good. Here's another good Spider-Man pose. Check that out. Spider-Man is ready for action. And here's another crazy Spider-Man pose for you. And one more pose for the road. With the whipping hand. And let's do one last pose. Okay guys, just to conclude, this Spider-Man figure is an exceptional Spider-Man. I don't care what anybody says, I love it. The articulation is great, the paint is pretty decent. The accessories, we finally have two of each hand. We have fist hands, whipping hands, and open palm hands, finally. That, and that's always a good thing. Only thing I don't like is the wing thingies. So I'm not gonna be messing with those. But other than that, this is a great figure. If you see this figure in stores, Target, Walmart, wherever they sell this, pick it up. It's a great addition to your Marvel Legends action figures. Especially if you love collecting Spider-Man figures. So, in saying that, I'll see you guys in the next video.